Number two is asking what is the derivative of x sine x? So this is a, obviously a calculus question. We're finding the derivative of something. So I'm gonna say that f of x here, I'll say let f of x here equals x sine x. And all we're gonna have to do is find f prime of x, right? So I wanna find the derivative of this function here, which is x times x. So in order for me to do that, I'm using the product rule, right? So again, I can, uh, I know that x here, I'm finding the derivative of the first guy here. So the derivative of the first guy here is a one times sine x plus the, I have x here and the derivative of sine x. And we know the derivative of sine x here is cos x, right? So x times cos x here. So simply if I were to, um, if I, I know, I know this is my product rule, right? I'm simply just taking the derivative of my first function here. So actually, let me not use a, let me not, not use a f of x here. I'm gonna use another notation. Maybe I'll use a h at x. Here, and this is h prime at x. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna say that this is this here is a, this here is f of x, and this here is g of x. So I'm splitting the function into two. The first function here is x, and the second function here is uh, sine x. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm taking the derivative of the first function. So this here is one is f prime of x times g of x plus, and then x here would be I get f of x here times the derivative of the second function of g of x, right? And this here is uh, something called the product rule. So this here, what I stated just now, f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x here is the product rule. So this here, this guy here is the product rule. It's, a der it's our derivatives. So when we're finding the derivative of something times something of f of x times g of x, it's going to equal this function here which means h of x, h prime of x, or just the derivative of x of sine x times sine of x would equal just simply one times sine x, so that's sine x, plus x times cos x. And this here is my solution for this problem. So the derivative of x, x times sine x is simply just sine x plus x times cos x. And I believe that they got the question correct, right? They have derivative of sine x um, plus uh, equals, or sorry, derivative equals sine x plus x cos x. So this here is the correct solution. So what they did here was they uh, they did uh, some type of, they did, they did a chain rule, which is basically the product rule. Um, and they did, um, so this is a bit messy because of the formatting, but let's see, I have d of f of x times g of x over dx equals uh, the product rule. So what I wrote here, so they said f of x equals x and g of x equals sine x. Uh, sine x, which is good. So derivative equals simply one times sine x, which is here, times cos x times x here, which is equal to sine x times plus x cos x. So solution here is correct. Good analysis, but, but could use better formatting is what I would like to say for this problem here. Solution here is correct.